truth is this video was supposed to be made a long time ago but I got sidetracked with trying to survive and <laughs> I kind of forgot about it but now here we go so I'm going to share with you three main reasons why I stopped shaving my legs one there was no valid reason for me to start and two I had nasty self-image issues and I want to practice self-love to myself <laughs> and three I was challenging myself against the American culture <laughs> whatever we'll start with reason number one that's a good place to start as a young girl I was never given a reason as to why I should shave it was just something you did you know around age 12 things start happening you start shaving Missy so that's not a very good reason reason number two you know, I think every girl struggles with self-image issues. For me, I mostly struggled with, uh, well, <laughs> my family. We have uh, Irish roots. Yeah, so you know what that means. <laughs> We're very hairy. <laughs> so I hated all of my body hair. <laughs> and I thought I was disgusting. This is not an Irish accent, is it? And so I thought, that is not healthy, Tori. You must do something about this so that you can love yourself all the way physically as well yeah because that would be healthy yes reason number three American culture American culture there are so many things about America that frustrate me but I'll just go to one of them right now and that is the lie that body hair is unfeminine um, yeah but that lie only exists because this razor company wanted to make lots of money and make women think that they had to shave so that they had to buy razors. Um, it worked, by the way. Good job, razor company. I mean, come on! <laughs> of course, this sounds weird to say, but of course, hairy legs is feminine. Why? Because girls have hair on their legs, so it is very naturally obviously a feminine thing it's not just a masculine trait to have hairy legs i mean we act like it's a secret that girls have hair on their legs it's like we're pretending that we don't but everyone knows it it's not a secret we just shave it off and try to pretend so my personal story with this is i was in alaska and winter you know winter alaska I just didn't shave because my legs never saw the light of day. I just didn't shave. And that was like the first time even the possibility of, hey, maybe I could just like keep not shaving. That was the first time that even came into my mind. Before, it was never a thought that I would not shave. It was just so natural to me to shave. That's just what we do, right? So then I was thinking, hey, I know I'm going to Hawaii. Obviously, I'm going to be wearing shorts all the time. So I know I will always be worrying about shaving and if I don't shave it will be a pretty mess the days I don't. So I knew I could either be worrying all the time about getting these here legs shaved or I could just hmm, not shave, display the buttes in public. So I decided to challenge myself to do that for like those three reasons. There was a point when I was thinking about chickening out and shaving before I left but then there was this defining moment for me that really was a game changer in my decision. Um, I was at work one day and I, I was wearing pants and I had like cut my leg really bad on this bin and I was going to lift up my pant leg to look to see if I was bleeding, see how bad the wound was and I couldn't lift up my pants because of the shame, because of the people around me, what would they think if I lifted up my pant leg and they saw hair on my legs? what would they think? I was like I was above myself watching this happen and I knew down here I knew that I was like running into that wall of the American mindset and I knew it but I couldn't it was like I was running into this invisible wall over and over again and I couldn't do anything about it that was a scary moment for me to know that just like a mindset a culture could have that much power over me that I couldn't even take care of my safety because this mindset that was amazing to me and I'm like that is not okay and so that really <sighs> drove it home for me that okay this is something I have to free my mindset of <laughs> I decided to do it and you know I think for me it was a little bit easier than maybe for other people just because I was going to Hawaii this this new place with new people no one knew me for all they know I was always like not shaving my whole life I haven't received any root 
comments or glances or anything like that. Occasionally I see people notice or take a second glance. And so far only one person has mentioned it. And that was my friend that I made here. And she was just asking my reasons. Um, so that's just encouragement to you guys that if you're wanting to try something like this, to not worry about what other people think. If they don't like it, they'll live. They'll live. Yeah, if you're interested in this, I've made a pros and cons list for you guys. Because I'm so nice. For shaving, pros. You have smooth legs. Smooth, smooth. Cons, you have to shave all the time. And if you don't, it's prickly. You have to buy razors. So much time and thoughts wasted on the state of your legs. So natural. Oh, natural. Pros, not shaving. <laughs> Fast showers. So much time because of those fast showers. Ease of mind. It's natural and self-loving. Uh, you are being free of cultural lies and because of that you are growing in character because of challenging yourself. If you are wanting to try not shaving or even if you just want to be more natural, it doesn't have to be not shaving. It can be you want to not wear makeup anymore or you want to have like your natural hair, not straighten it or curl it. Boys, you get to be pretty natural I guess. Uh, but maybe you like beards for you, like if you want to grow out your beard. So here's for everyone. I have some tips for you. So one, have solid motives. Because if you don't have the right motives for this, uh, your determination is just going to fall through in the end. And second, have determination towards this. Be determined. And the third and probably most helpful for me was to just spend private time like with yourself, getting to see yourself in this different way before you go out in public. So I would suggest just like the safety and privacy of your home. Even though it was winter, I uh, was walking around in shorts in my house just getting myself used to seeing hair on my legs. And that was so helpful. And so for you, like let's say you don't want to wear makeup, unless you really want to, don't go out in public right away. That's a hard adjustment. Get used to seeing yourself and loving yourself the way you are in the safety of your home and then It'll make the transition so much more easier. So for me, this challenge is officially over because my challenge was to be able to love myself naturally. And before I could shave, I had to get to that point. And a good indicator of that to me is that I'm willing to put pictures and video of myself in a public place and not feel any shame towards myself, but only self-love. And does that mean I'm gonna shave now? No, I have no desire to at the moment. Maybe I will sometime in my life, but I will only be because it's my preference, not because I feel like I have to. I still shave my armpits, um, sometimes. And for all you haters out there who are gonna say, oh, she's a hypocrite, she wants to be all natural, but she's still shaving her armpits, here's what I have to say to you. Take a chill pill. Give me a break, I'm trying here. Maybe one day, but today's not that day. And I'm okay with that.